So you've probably dealt with them before. Deprecation notices. And despite them being uh, annoying and frustrating to many developers, they actually serve a purpose. And I would even say you will appreciate them once you understand their goal and how to deal with them. So let's take a look. It's a common complaint. Why do my PHP scripts break with minor version updates? And quite right, PHP has a tendency to add deprecation notices in minor releases, which tend to be audibly present when upgrading a project. Take for example PHP 8.1, where suddenly logs were filled with these kinds of warnings. It's important to understand what deprecations are about. They aren't errors, they are notices. They are a way of notifying PHP developers about a breaking change in the future. Uh, they want to warn you upfront to give you plenty of time to deal with that upcoming breaking change. Of course, one could ask, are these breaking changes and fancy features really necessary? Do we really need internal return types? Do we really need to disallow dynamic properties? And in my opinion, and it's shared by the majority of PHP internal developers, yes, we need to keep improving PHP. It needs to grow further. And that sometimes means introducing a breaking change. Like, for example, when internals add return types to build-in class methods, if you're extending from those classes, uh, you will need to make some changes. The language needs to evolve. Overall, I would say that despite some of the annoyances that come up with such an evolving language, it is for the better. And luckily, we have a mechanic like deprecation notices. They tell us that something will break in the future, but that we can still use it today. We can incrementally make changes and updates around our code base. Second, PHP internals go to great lengths to help userland developers in dealing with deprecations. Thanks to the addition of attributes in PHP 8, uh, we now have a much better and standardized way of communication between our code and PHP's interpreter. For example, we can tag userland code with the return type will change attribute in order to prevent deprecation notices from being shown. Of course, this code will break in PHP 9. So while silencing deprecation notices is a short-term solution, you will need to fix them if you ever want to upgrade to the next major version. One more example, maybe, uh, with dynamic properties being deprecated in PHP 8.1, you can mark classes with the allow dynamic properties attribute, making it so that they allow dynamic properties again and to suppress the deprecation notice. Now, PHP code will keep working just fine, even when parts of it trigger deprecation notices. Of course, you know by now that it's in your best interest to fix them if you ever want to upgrade to the next major version, but you don't need to do it right now. It's perfectly okay to upgrade your production project and deal with the deprecations over time. I would even recommend disabling deprecation notices on production altogether, or at least not show them to your end users. Uh, maybe you can keep track of them using an external error tracker for the first months to get that clear image of the places you will need to fix those deprecations. But above all, deprecation notices shouldn't be blockers when upgrading to the latest minor PHP version. Lastly, keep in mind that you don't need to do the boring tasks by hand. There are tools like Rector and PHP CS that can take care of many upgrading issues for you. Usually it's a matter of running a script that takes a couple of minutes and uh, scans and fixes your code base for you. And that's work that you might need days for if you do it by hand. It's not difficult or time consuming anymore to deal with PHP upgrades. In fact, the deprecations help tremendously to create a smoother upgrade path and prepare your code base for the future. I like deprecations, and you should too.